how to sell wireless earbuds on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the shop manager button in your top right. Then you proceed to setting up your Etsy shop. So guys, in order to set your Etsy shop, you will need to go through six steps. And the first one is the shop preferences where you choose the shop's language and those stuff. Then you have to name your shop, then stock in your shop and choosing how you'll get paid. Then you set up your billing information. Then you end with the shop's security. So here, let's start from the first step, which is the shop preferences. And here you set your shop's language, the shop's country and the shop's currency. So I'm going to change the shop's currency from the Moroccan dirham to the United States dollar. Then click on save and continue. Then we have to name our shop. <coughs> so make sure to use a good name for your shop. So for me, I'm going to choose my niche's name as my shop's name. And it seems like the name is already taken, as you can see in here. So I'm going to change the name to something else. So I'm just going to add, or let's do this and see. It's already taken too. Let's see this one, also taken. It seems like it's all taken. So let's leave it like this. Remove the spaces, add a number, and there it is, it's available. Then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is setting up or stocking your shop with photos and details as you can see in here add some photos and details about your item fill out what you can for now you'll be able to edit this later so here guys before even starting to add in the photos and details click on save and continue and here they will show all the required fields to fill in this step so the first one and if you if you didn't fill all of these required or these four required fields, you will not be able to go to the next step. So the first one is photos, as you can see in here, you will need at least to upload one photo. Then you have the inventory, where you, where you will need to type a price for your product. Then you have the listing details, you will need to fill all of these read fields. Then for the shipping, also you will need to fill all of these red fields. Then you will be able to proceed to the next step. So let's start from the first one, which is photos. So here, add as many as you can, so buyers can see every detail. Use up to 10 photos to show your item's most important qualities. And for some tips, use natural light and no flash. Include a common object for scale. Show the item being held, worn or used. Shoot against a clean, simple background. Add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options. Then we have the video. So bring your product to life with a five to 15 second video. It could help you drive more sales. The video won't feature sound, so let your product do the talking. And for some quick tips, film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used. Adjust your settings to record a high resolution video aim for 1080 pixels or higher crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions and if you want to learn how to make videos that sell you can just click on this link and for the video guys it's not required like the photos so if you have a video that's better if you don't have one there is no problem at all you will you will be able to proceed to the next step without a video then we have the listing details so here you start with the title, the title of the product, then you answer these three questions, who made it, 
you have three options to choose from i did a member of my shop another company or person let's go with i did then what is it a finished product or a supply or tool to make things let's go with the finished product then when did you make it you have three categories to choose from not yet made recently or vintage so let's go with recently and especially between 2020 and 2023 then for the category just type some keywords and you will be able to find a lot of categories to choose from so i'm going to choose wireless earbuds in gadgets as my category then here you will have to choose the primary color of your product also you will choose the secondary color in here then you have the renewal options so we have two options if you want an automatic renewal which costs 20 cents each time and the manual renewal which is free so i'm going to choose the manual one and for the type you choose if you have a physical product or a digital product so me for me it's a physical product then you have the description so in order to write a good description for your product start with a brief overview that describes your item's finest features shoppers will only see the first few lines of your description at first so make it count not sure what is to say shoppers also like hearing about your process and the story behind this item then you have the production partners if you want to add any and you have three other details to fill the section tags and materials and all of them are optional so i'm going to leave them for later then we have the price so here you choose a good price for your product then you have the shipping details so make sure here to fill all of these red fields starting with the original postal code and the processing time also the standard shipping in here and everywhere else then we have the returns and exchanges policy so here you can just apply the 30 days policy by clicking on apply or you can choose another policy by creating your own policy in here you choose what to accept and what not to accept or if you want to accept them all then you choose the time frame that you want and when you're done you click on save and apply then you click on save and continue to proceed to the next step and that's it guys for today's video i just wanted to show you how you can set your etsy shop make sure to complete the steps and don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends